Pakistan and the United States are old friends uh, and almost family. And as in the case with family, there is a lot of uh, love and sometimes a lot of hate. And both go together uh, quite often. But the other day when the Prime Minister of Pakistan, Nawaz Sharif, telephoned President Trump to congratulate him on his election, he was told that Pakistan is a fantastic country and that he is a fantastic guy <laughs> and that we would have very good relations in the, in the future. And that is certainly, I think, the hope of most people in Pakistan, that our two countries will be able to re-establish the close ties that we have enjoyed for so many years in the past and which have been interrupted uh, at certain moments in recent history. There are many reasons why Pakistan and the United States should be close. The United States is still the world's largest power. If not the sole superpower, it's still the world's most dominant and powerful country. Pakistan, on the other hand, is the sixth largest country by population in the world with 200 people. It is a country which is the most influential country in the Muslim world. A country with a army which is the fourth largest in the world. It is a nuclear weapon state. It is an economy that is growing at 5% despite all the problems of violence and terrorism and sanctions and everything else that we face, our average growth has remained 5%. And today we are again poised in the geographical location which is the center of global economic growth. China, West Asia, South Asia. These are the most dynamic areas of the world today in economic growth terms, and Pakistan sits at the center. So we have great potential, and we believe that that potential can be developed basically with the cooperation and help of the United States and the help and cooperation of China, our two biggest, oldest, and strongest friends of Pakistan. And Pakistan is proud of the fact that we were the ones who brought the United States and China together in 1971. And it is our hope that we will continue to enjoy that privileged relationship with both superpowers in the future. But having said that, we have to see what, how is it that the Pakistani American relationship will develop in the future. There are many reasons for cooperation, substantive reasons for economic cooperation, for cooperation against terrorism, against non-proliferation. Nevertheless, to be realistic, one has to see that nations act in their own interest. And the United States and Pakistan are no different from other nations and states. Pakistan has invested a lot in the American relationship over, over the years. The United States, however, because it is a superpower, because it is a country with multifarious and multiple interests, has always seen that the Pakistani relationship has been a function of 
America's larger strategic interests across the world.